I use it to complement my five days. What is that, Gary? Like a Japanese cowboy. It's Paul Ogata here in Tokyo for the very first time, as you can tell, by the Tokyo Tower right behind me. It used to be black like the Eiffel Tower, but they had to paint it red and white because kaiju. Okay, so Joan and then just digital hub baby. Right. Get surprised again. Okay, three, two, one. Hey, this is Joey Slick at Bar Matrix in Japan, right here with Paul, my man Gary. Check out www.j1japan.com and, of course, Digital Hub JP. Take it away, Gary. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am with my friend and one of the best comics I've ever seen on stage. You may have seen him on Showtime. You may have seen him on Comedy Central. Paul Agata. Welcome, Paul. Hi, everyone. <laughs> They're not in the box. Oh, They're right. not in the box. They're... But, hey, it's good to have you. So this is your first trip ever to Japan. Yes, and... Uh... The homeland, I guess they say. Do you feel that or not? I mean, really, come on. Like when I go to Europe or Ireland, I feel. Do you feel that you're going to home? Nope, uh, <laughs> not at all. I feel like well, Hawaii is my home, so that's really the homeland. Is it weird to see a bunch of people that look similar to you that is has the same height uh, differentiation that you do, or no? Uh, yeah, that is interesting. I feel like I'm at a casting call back in LA and you show up and then everyone in the room looks like you. Everyone's dressed like you. Right. And what about, so how do you feel so far? You did your first show last night just to kind of feel the audience and stuff. Yeah. Tonight's the big show. How do you, what do you, what is you, what are you anticipating for like a crowd work, an audience? What do you think you're going to see? Well, hopefully we've marketed it correctly and people who do not understand English and American style stand-up comedy go somewhere else. Because there are other options in Roppongi. Yeah, of course, there's a lot. That's where we are, actually. That's a great uh, tag, too, because I wanted to thank Matrix Bar. We are Matrix Bar right now, and I love this place. The best R&B and soul, old school, in Roppongi. If you don't come to a comedy club, you got to come and dance. I also like to do a shout out for Joint One Radio. Man, they are the best. If you can't get to Roppongi, you have to go to jointone.com and listen for the music that happens. So, uh, I wanted to say, I would have uh, I'm very excited about your performance tonight because I think that Japan and Tokyo is starving for a point of view comedy. I don't think they really have that. They have their own style, but I think it's very important to, to kind of bring that out. I mean, are you excited about yeah, I'm, uh, changing history? Well, listen, here's my only experience with Japanese comedy. The other night we're at a bar and this Japanese comedian heard that I was here, so he, he marched on down here and proceeded to uh, do a, a laugh off, I guess. Yeah. Challenging you and I yeah, to- Yeah, together. Uh, do shots if we laughed. He would do his shtick, and yes. if we laughed, we would have to do a shot of tequila. That's right. Uh, you had maybe three or four. Yeah, I had to, because I mean, I, I didn't want to, you know, it was awkward. I mean, some of the stuff, I mean, I mean, do you want to do it? Like, elbow, you know, yeah. it was different. It was very- And no, he would shout it out. He would, <laughs> first he would march around the room. Ay, 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 heap. <laughs> I, I don't know. Dog. That, yeah, dog. Yeah, that was. Is that, that maybe that's a thing in Japan? Is that? Yeah, I'm not really sure. And I, I'm, we're not insulting it. No, 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 no. Just that, uh, It was an appreciation of love. It's just that I'm saying my, I do the opposite of that. <laughs> what do you so, do? You do asshole. Yeah, like a yeah. whisper. Puppy. No, I do? whisper. Dog. <laughs> but he got naked. He and did. I was really. Th he was this close to really being. You know, sexual harassing to us, right? Yes. But in a good way. Because yeah. it was it was all in fun and love. So all I'm saying is I don't do that. And right. so I hope the people who like that, if they come, aren't expecting that. Gotcha. So I have to ask you, because it's so obvious, you know, because you could do an interview in any type of clothes, whatever. You really love this cowboy hat. What's going on with yeah, this? Yeah, well I got this uh, just before I came to Japan. I was in Macau okay. on Sunday night and did a show there. And I always wanted a cowboy hat. Okay. So this is sort of my, my cowboy hat. Oh, ni hao, y'all. Ni hao, ni hao, y'all. That's nice. And, why, and so is this, why would you want a cowboy hat at this point in your life? Okay, you? well, this hat is like my midlife crisis. And it's also to tell Japanese people not to speak Japanese to me. Because I'll roll into a restaurant or whatever it is, and they'll speak their thing, and I don't understand it, but they see this, and immediately they're like, oh, he's, he's different. He's an American. Gotcha. So you're like wearing an ID tag that says, hey, don't talk to me. I'm not local. Yeah, this is a big name tag. Hi, I am ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, hey, it's been fantastic to have you here, Paul. Welcome to Tokyo. We cannot wait to perform, and give it up for Paul Agata. Oh. <laughs> Elbow!
Thanks for watching. I hope you found out everything you ever didn't not want to ever not avoid knowing or something like that. But if you want to catch up with me on social media, on Twitter, at Paul Ogata. My website, paulogata.com. Facebook, paul.ogata, for some reason. And uh, on Tumblr, it's uh, things that look like buttholes.tumblr.com. Things that look like buttholes.tumblr.com.